Hi guys, it's Rose from the Philippines. Um, today is June 12, 2016. It's Independence Day here in the Philippines. So, and we're going to church today because it's Sunday. And I started early today to post a video. Um, yesterday, yesterday, I tried to <clears throat> make a podcast, but... I was able to do so and finished it, but when I started watching it, uh, in the latter parts, my voice is not, uh, my voice doesn't go on with my, with my, it's not catching up with mm, the movement of my lips. <clears throat> Excuse me. So last Monday, I got my blood check, my WBC, and it turned out okay. So when I went to the hospital last Thursday, I brought that and my doctor says it's okay for me to continue on my meds. So last Thursday, I started early to go to the hospital. Uh, it's only two jeepneys away, but it's pretty far. And I woke up early, and I started off early also. So when I got there, I catched up with the secretary, uh, and I did some tissueing there, but just a little because my doctor she came early also, <laughs> even though she caught some traffic. So, my counseling went well, and my doctor said that I'm making progress, and I said to her that we had a medicine assistance from the SWD, so she is okay with that. So, that's nice stuff, and tomorrow is the beginning of the school days for the nieces and my nephews. So, we started that already. They bought some books and some notebooks. And they are also preparing the bags they're going to use to put all those stuff in. So, for, so for the crochet part or the crafting part, I had a few posts to show you. And the first one is the hook organizer. This is a rainbow colored hoop organizer and I got the inspiration from Miss Snowy44. She has a hoop organizer in this color I guess. But hers is a little bit smaller. So I made this part. I made the uh, three rows of each color. And then after this I made the compartment part. Uh, as you can see, this part is much more taller than this one's. I made a mistake making it this tall. So there's also some spaces at the bottom of it. But what I love about this is that the hooks, they are coordinated with the colors of the, <coughs> of the compartments. Excuse me. But they are not consecutive in size but I like the way that I can put them here according to the color I usually don't use big hooks but maybe in the future I would if I could uh, put three strands of yarn together and for the lower parts I put some cable needles my old hooks that I bought from Tabara these are the ones that are available here in the Philippines. Uh, this is double pointed. Or it has a hook on both sides. And the sizes are 3, 5, and 6. So I can put two of those in just one compartment. And I also put here some of my EMEA hooks. The ones I used for... Uh, Mercedes cotton yarn and it's good to put 
your hooks inside of this, like for this one. It tends to be rustic when you put it somewhere very moist. So it's okay to put it here so it will also protect the hook. And the smaller ones, I have also a few spaces left wherein I can put the hooks that I'm using at the moment. And so, I made this one, and after that, I put the zipper on it. I based the zipper, I base sewing it. I sew it by hand loosely first. Then, I saw it in the machine. So, it turned out this way. I was contemplating about using a black yarn for the borderline, but instead, I used a cream one. So, it will show all of the colors more accurately. This is my first foe. And my second foe is the Bugs Bunny stand. This is a cell phone box stand that I'm going to give to my best friend. I'm hoping to give it to her. Uh, and I asked her sister if she wanted to buy the stitch box stand from me, but there's no reply yet. So for a box by me, there's this kind of hole that fits the cell phone and some wider ones. I put his uh, ears at, on top of it instead of at the sides like the stitch and the problem with this I'm thinking that his cheeks turned out a little bit big so I don't have enough space for the eyes, the ears and the teeth but I think it turned out quite cute also and when I brought this to Nati Didi uh, my nieces there, they like this so much, they wanted to keep it, but since they can't pay me yet, I, I didn't give them to her. So this is a bunny box stand, box stand. It's my second hole. And my last hole is a little bit hurried. Because I had a dilemma with the blouse. Um, for this blouse, I decided to keep this as his. This is a wider version and it fits loosely on me. Because I don't have enough yarn for it, I stopped it right here. And I'm deciding on what to put on the yoke part. I was going to make this a little bit tighter, so I was going to put the lining inside, but that's a disaster because when I put it here and I lessen this part, it scrunched up on me that I couldn't uh, pull it off of me. So that's a bad idea to put lining on a blouse directly. So, I had a dilemma with that, so I decided to just make a plain curtain. And this is what I came up with. This was supposed to be four arches. But the, the raffle part, the fabric for it is not enough, so it came out only three. I think I'm going to put embellishments on this to make it more nicer and maybe put it there on top of the wall. So for my whips, I have a few whips with me. First off is the Amigurumi Monster I'm contemplating about. I'm experimenting on this and this part would be the hair part. And I'm using the variegated yarn for this. And this is how it's turning out. There are some streaks of dark green on it. This uh, yarn has light and dark green plus the pink, the light pink and the orange one. 
I'm thinking about uh, knitting it up until it doubles its size and close it at the bottom and put a fiber fill. So, since this has pretty loose holes or loose stitches, the fiber fill will come out of it. So, what I'm thinking is putting a flat foam at the sides and for the middle part would be the fiber fill so it wouldn't come outside of the hole. So this is one of my whips and I still don't have a progress with the slouchy hat since I've been in a knitting frenzy I started um, three knitting projects I also have this one since it is called a church lately and they put some electric fans at the sides and some people tend to open it so it turns out to be very cool there so what I decided was I'm going to make myself a simple rectangular shawl to put on my shoulders to keep me warm so I'm using this bouquet of yarn I really like the color yellow and these are streaks of black so I started this um, this yarn is not so easy to work on but it's okay um, I'm using the bamboo needles for this for, for the fir first part I decided to gather it to another another needle the metal ones but I wasn't so happy with how I'm knitting it so I decided to just put it here again on this bump needle so that's the start of it I'm going to, it's going to be a very long project because I'm a slow knitter <laughs> one of my posts and my whips also and since I'm having the dilemma with the blouse I'm having the problem with this part the chest part so I had this idea from the christening gun that I made before I made the yoke it's pretty I made the yoke for it and I'm deciding on this. I think I'm going to continue this up until it thickens up. So it will be okay to connect this, connect it to this. I don't know. What, did, what do you guys think? So that's the yoke part. And I incorporated the cream the cream yarn for it because I think this is not going to be enough so I'm going to continue this up until I can put it there so that is also one of my whips and I have a order for a booties for Miel my cousin Ate Dole she wanted me to make her son a booties and tomorrow is gonna be his first birthday so I wanted to finish this so he can use it tomorrow I bought this red heart variegated yarn thinking that this is pretty expensive but I bought three of this and I'm hoping that this will be enough and this is a brown with light browns in it like brow shades. So Miel's feet has become very long. It's 11 centimeters long. So I came up with this. And then I'm going to decrease it in this part. And Ada, she suggested that I put two more rows for the upper side of it. Then I'm incorporating the crochet garter so it wouldn't fall off the seam. So that's one of my projects. 
And Ate Didi, she is a little bit disappointed with the bag that I made her, the blue one, the blue-green one. Because the packets is not enough for her because she has a lot of stuff. So I talked to her and we managed to uh, came up with an idea of making another bag. She wanted another bag that has a variegated moisturized cotton yarn with black and white. So I have a diagram where I can pinpoint all of the pockets that are going for the lining. She wanted me to put linings on the side and also for the uh, for the back and in the front of the lining. So I jotted it down so I will remember it. Because you know I don't remember stuff that well. I don't remember. <laughs> So, from my Instagram, you saw me posting some chicheria or snacks. And we've been having snacks like that lately because mama, she bought some. She, she bought plenty of happy peanuts, some, um, some, I know, some of the other how-how. So, we've been eating that and we've been in a hopia mood eating mood so we've been eating that also okay. so I have a few notes here just a few notes I wanted to show you Maris's drawing this is what he has been drawing for some time now it is an FNAF character it's she's he's been drawing the characters from that game and i think his favorite to draw is this one this is foxy they have different names and different pictures so i think he's being uh, he's having some progress with the details and I also, yesterday I was going to review my podcast. I'm going to take, I was going to take a video in the afternoon because I erased the first one that I made in the morning. But Nicole, she got here and we talked. She's a little bit loquacious or talkative. So as we talked, I said to her that I wanted to color her coloring book. So I came up with this. This is Nami. She was supposed to be wearing a wedding gown, but since a wedding gown is color white, I don't want to color it white, so I decided to color it with pink and violet. And I put some makeup on her. And she tore it in the coloring book, from the coloring book, so I can post it on my wall. So that's Nami. And this is what I wanted to show you before. This is one of the older games of us Filipinos. This is called Songha. I bought this from Baguio. And when the when the kids were at the hospital, we played this. We used some pebbles. And I can't explain it, but this is one of the games that we have. It's a little bit small. It's, it can be also a decoration to the house. You can put it on the wall. So that's why it. I've also been watching Waking the Dead. It is just like CSI in a way. And I'm hoping to watch other videos of that on YouTube. And I also put here that I watched the BBC classic Sherlock Holmes. And when I'm assure, when I'm unsure about how the project is going, I often stop and set it aside. So that's it. I forgot to tell you that 
I send the Tunisian notebooks to Broadway. But that's another story. So that's it. I hope you guys have a very fine weather. It's becoming dim here. And I'm hoping that you have some family time. And happy crafting to you all. Hello to Miss Grace or Miss GB Maltese. She is a new subscriber of mine. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Um, that's it for me. Bye for now.